So this is basically a message that is directed not necessarily towards my audience, but is somewhat, I would say, indirected towards the by all means, by any means necessary group, or BAM, which describes itself as a um, revolutionary group uh, committed to pro-Californian independence. In normal circumstances, given my Marxist beliefs, given my revolutionary beliefs, I would normally believe in the, um, the idea of armed overthrow of the state. But in this case, being a member of Yes California, being a member of the California National Party, being committed to an organization that is about nonviolence, I must condemn the idea of by any means necessary. The reason for this is that in the first world there's not really a lot of revolutionary potential and because there's not a lot of revolutionary potential there's really this idea that you can achieve nationalism in, or nation, sta uh, nation statehood, nationhood by basically through basically the legal means. You can achieve this through the legal means that, that are necessary and are provided for you. There's really not a whole lot of call for the overthrow of, of the state. If you can achieve the means through constitutionalism, then you can, that anything is really possible. I'm not necessarily saying that we need to abandon our revolutionary principles, but I'm going to say that if you want an independent California, you need to do it the right way. And the revolutionary way is not the right way to do it. You know, if this was uh, Kurdistan, or if this was to, you know, even though they've already achieved it, South Sudan, that would, uh, that, that would be one thing. But there's really not... But this is the first world. The third world... In the third world, there would be a need for it. In the first world, there's not really a need for it, nor is there the potential for it. If anything, what the first world needs at this point is re-education, or just education in general. And what is needed is definitely a social democracy, is multi-party social democracy. And eventually time may gradu uh, gradually push things towards the revolutionary line. And that's, that's fine. Whatever your revolutionary principles are, whatever my revolutionary principles are, serve a purpose in the future. But right now, the cause that we fight does not justify a revolutionary action. If we can achieve California nationhood through the legal means, then why not use those legal means? It's all part of, in a way, you could think of it like bourgeois sabotage. Use the bourgeois law to combat bourgeois law and achieve your own nation your own na nation state. It's all about using the means and the, lega the legalism to achieve said goals. So this is why I am condemning, I am condemning the by any means necessary group, the BAM group. Because what they are doing may be needed in the third world. This is not the FARC. This is not the, you know, this is not the people, the uh, Kurdistani uh, liberation movement. This is not the Palestinian liberation organization. This is not, you know, th this is not any sort of revolutionary group of the third world trying to achieve nation, uh, trying to achieve nationhood or even trying to achieve the overthrow of a government. This is the first world. This is California. And this is something that we need to do 
that what we need to do is to use the nonviolent legal means to achieve that. So I must condemn any violent action taken by BAM. I must condemn the violence that may that, that this group may use against other people. If you want to be part of, of a pro-California nation state, then do it by the legal, nonviolent means. We're not saying abandon the Marxist principles. You can have whatever principles you want. But right now, you must commit yourself to nonviolence. And this is a path that I am taking. As a Marxist, as a revolutionary myself, who believes in an armed proletariat to and the you know means of achieving said goals to basically get rid of capitalism in favor of, of socialism and eventually communism, I am taking this stance of nonviolence in the efforts to create a independent Californian state. If you wish to join Yes California, if you wish to join the California National Party, that is fine, but in order to do so, you must commit yourself to nonviolence. Once the end goal of California nationhood has been achieved, then you can go and do whatever the fuck you want. But right now, a commit a, a commitment to nonviolence is what is necessary to achieve California nationhood. There is no other way around it. And it the, it's, is the only way that California independence can succeed and be taken legitimately. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.